Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sara and this is my channel Sara's Canva Studio. Um, today I have a very exciting tutorial for you guys. Um, we are going to make a children's activity book and it's going to be about finding objects. And this is an educational activity book and as you can see on my screen, um, this is what we're going to include, you know, find the objects that start with the letter, uh, whichever letter we're doing. And um, this is how we're going to do it. We are going to create uh, children's book pages from all the elements from Canva and we are going to construct these um, images and then we are going to um, do this for all letters. I have done this for letter A, now I am going to show you how I do it for other letters and how you can also do it. But first we need to uh, decide a dimension size, a trim size for our book. So on Amazon KDP, we have a list of trim sizes that are supported by Amazon KDP. So some of the small ones are 5 into 8 and you know, you can see all of these. Um, but we are going to go for large trim sizes because you know, children's books are usually large and you know, for books like these that uh, need the children to be a little more focused so they can see images clearly, we need them to be big. So, and also we're going to go for a square book size so we're going to go for something that has the same uh, height and width so we're going to go for 8.5 into 8.5 inches so that's the trim size that we're going to go for but uh, there's this other thing that I want to um, mention how to um, choose the size how to input that size on Canva so over here um, Amazon KDP talks about um, the bleed uh, you know and what that essentially means is that you know bleed is whenever you have a page that is uh, that has an image and you want, and it extends the borders of uh, the page uh, that's called bleed and uh, when you're printing a book you don't want white edges to show so amazon recommends that you add 1.0.125 uh, inches into 2 uh, so that would be 0 0.25 inches um, you know to your trim height and your trim width so so to the height we will add 0 0.25 and for the width we're going to add 0 0.125 only so that's where that's what we're going to do so so when we um when we open canva we're going to click create a design and we're going to go to custom design and we're going to choose 8.625 and the height is oh wait first let's choose inches so 8.625 is the width and then we have to add our trim size plus um, one, uh, 0.125 into 2 so that is 8.75 um, inches right so this is what we're gonna do this is we're gonna go for this um, uh, you know this dim uh, these dimensions and we're gonna, we're gonna click create a new design so as I've already shown you, uh, this is the, you know, this is the concept that we're going for. This book is for, you know, finding objects. Um, we can, you know, do this two ways. Either we like, you know, put, um, if it's for smaller children, uh, this is, uh, you know, this is how we're going to go for. But if it's for, um, you know, bigger children, then we can just, you know, skip the pictures and we can just write, we can just add um, lines here for them to enter whatever objects they find that start with the letter A. Uh, but I'm targeting a smaller age group, which is why I've, you know, already, I, I want it to be very visual so that whoever is reading this book to them, they can, you know, point to these um, objects and tell them what these are. So, so let's um, open our empty artboard and let's go into elements and I'm just going to write very basic um, keywords. I'm just going to write room. Um, so I have the pro subscription of Canva. Uh, so, you know, I, I do not have uh, any limitations of the elements that I will be able to use. However, if you do not have a pro subscription, I would highly recommend that you get one. Okay, so let's go for this one. Uh, I like this. Let's go for this one. And I'm going to set this image as background. I'm going to um, detach it and do it myself. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to. All 
Alright, so I want the door to be there. And I want the stairs to show a little bit. Yeah, so now we're gonna add elements to this. Okay, so let's start with. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open ChatGPT. Take some help from ChatGPT. We're gonna ask it. Um, make a list of some objects that start that are found in the living room and start with the letter um, B. So it has given us a list of these um, these things, these objects that we can now uh, add to our image. Okay, so let's go for uh, the first uh, thing that is a bookshelf. So let's look for a bookshelf this bookshelf you know this makes me want to change the background so I'm just going to delete this background and I'm just going to look for a living room and an empty living room actually so maybe this let's go for this one okay Okay, so now we can add our own things to this. Let's go for a bookshelf. Right. Let's go for this one. We can make it small and we can you know, add it here. That looks nice. Um, let's position it a little here. Now now beanbag chair okay how about we just go for empty empty beanbags so let's just flip this horizontally and So we have a bean bag. Uh, we have uh, okay. Let's add a bonsai tree. But for that, let's first add a table. Um, let's add a small table. Um, this one. Let's add this table here. Let's make a little small right here. And now let's add a bonsai bonsai tree to it. Let's look for it. Okay. Make it small and let's place it on this. Um, it kind of hides there, doesn't it? So how about we add, we place it here. Okay, so we have a bonsai tree. What should we have? We should have a basket. Yeah basket and toy basket hmm. I think this basket looks better so let's add this basket somewhere somewhere here let's add some more toys Let's add some kids playing. Okay, um, let's add a rug as well. Okay, 
Okay, and maybe we can add a couple of other things. So, you know, these are building blocks. These are, there's a ball here, there's a basket, there's a bean bag, there's a bonsai tree, there are books here. So a couple, uh, like a lot of things that, um, you know, that start with the letter A. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, um, we're going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here and this, we're just going to replace a with B and the other thing that we're going to do is that we're going to underline it and maybe we can add A and paste it here. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here and we're going to write so how many things so that's the for the things that we've already used are here so a bookshelf let's place it here and let's just copy one of the text and bring it here and we are going to write book shelf bookshelf Books. We're going to add some books. Books. We're going to add one side. One side tree. What else was there? There was a basket. So let's add a basket there. This one. Let's make it a little smaller. There you go. And blocks. Let's add blocks. blocks so there you go we have made our second page here and you can do the same with your other pages so you can continue and do this for all the letters and you know when once you have your book ready um, then you can make a book cover which I can show you now so for the book cover we're gonna go for double the height uh, double the width actually yeah double the width and this would be this um, I'm not so good at no, math so I'm just gonna open my calculator and I'm going to multiply 8.625 into 2 and this is 17.25 so I'm going to go for this and I'm going to click create a design and I'm going to divide this page into half first and then somewhere like around eight this side and another one so after this actually I'm gonna make it a little small just so no I just I added these um, guys just so that I don't add any text uh, along these lines now I'm going to design a, a book cover for this and for that so I just wrote investigators and where uh, you know this book is about finding objects so I really like this little girl here who's, who has binoculars so I'm just gonna um, place her here and we are going to add um, add a background here so I just added a background of a playground. I just typed in playground in the elements and I added uh, this image here. And I'm just going to write, 
I'm just going to give it a title and okay so let's I'm going to add a heading here and I'm going to place it here and we're just going to add very basic very basic title finding uh, objects or you know little investigator little investigator yeah little investigator let's give it let's look for calligraphy and pressure is a good form let's go for that and let's paste it here let's make it a little smaller and let's go for a white font That's about it. And you can save this. Let's add a thing. Little Explorers Children's Activity Book. And we can add save. And now we're going to uh, save it as a PDF print. And we're going to check crop, crop marks and lead. And we're going to check flatten PDF. And we're going to download it. So once it's downloaded, um, you can head over to Amazon KDP and upload your book. I've already covered how you can upload books on the video that I'm going to be linking in the description. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it and uh, you know you can learn how to upload the manuscript on Amazon KDP, how to price it, how to, um, you know, uh, if you encounter any other problems, how to tackle them. And if you still have any confusion or any questions, just comment below and I will reply to you. If you like my video, uh, subscribe to my channel and, you know, look out for more videos ahead and it was nice uh, teaching you guys this i hope you had fun as well uh, see you until next time bye bye